Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Josh and you're watching C3S Garage. In today's video, I have a very special video. We're going to be installing some Tesla headphones. <laughs> I'm just joking, these are not Tesla headphones. These are the latest Test Studios iteration and answer to a Tesla safety feature that we've been wanting for a long, long time, but we have yet to get. I know that Tesla Model 3s have gotten this already in the sense of a small little red light on the front speaker. Uh, but the Tesla Model Y, if you're a current owner or even a soon-to-be owner of a Tesla Model Y, you do not get these options. These are solely made for the Tesla Model 3. If you guys are interested in watching this video, feel free to stay tuned. If not, feel free to watch all of my other videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I will go ahead and skip the unboxing as there's just nothing but cables, but this is the main compartment that you have. This is what pretty much will shine the light on your car. And it's interesting to note that you will get a little texture in the middle of the halo, which I think it's interesting. You also get a USB-C, which I think it's nice. This will go connected to the main box that will give the information to the car to make the signal turn and the light shine. You also get a ton of different cables that we will be connecting. Don't be afraid. These cables are nothing to be concerned about. They're very easy to install and it shouldn't take more than five minutes to figure it out. To start, we're gonna go ahead and use our priming tool that also came in the box. Thank you, Test Studio, for providing this. We're gonna go ahead and open the little compartment that you have on the side. We will do this in the passenger side, not the driver's side. Now get ready because we will be removing a ton of different plastics. We'll start by the weather strip. And don't worry about pulling the weather strip as there's no clips or anything holding it back. It's all forced. After this, we're gonna go ahead and pry open two different plastics that come through the footwell. The top portion that I am reviewing right now is held up by two clips, one in the bottom, one in the top. There's nothing else with it. And this will give you access to removing two extra clips from the main footwell portion. Using our prime tool, we're gonna go ahead and remove the clip right here and another clip right over here. Once you are done taking both clips, be careful, just be gentle, prying open the footwell panel as we will need access to the main OBD port. And you'll find this port right in between the panel and this giant red cable. Just be careful when moving things around. You don't want to disconnect any other cables, so just be gentle with it. But we will be connecting a port to this OBD. Now, we will leave the OBD port alone for now and we're going to go ahead and disconnect this little tap over here. This should be the bottom connection and use our new cables to connect it. I did not like that there's no feedback. It's very smooshy, but just be gentle. The next portion will be connected almost like a bypass. And this is exactly how it should look. Next, we're going to go ahead and connect our remainder cable to our OBD port. Remember that blue one that we saw earlier? That's the same exact one we're going to connect. Do not worry about this part right here as we will no longer be using it. We don't have anything else to connect here. So that part will stay alone. Next up is connecting our USB-C to the box and making sure that we can add our little microphone look and turn signals to the rest of the car. Test Studios has accounted for the amount of cable that we need to make sure that we add on the left and on the right side of the car, both of the signals. So you'll see a ton of cable. The shorter end will go to the right side and the longer end of the cable will go to the left side. As noted, there should be a small little gap in between the plastic and the harder plastic. <laughs> Slide our blind spot monitor. Make sure you tuck everything well. Make sure there's no cables pinched against the hard plastics or the panel itself. Once you do this, you are set to go to the next portion. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. I have decided to run the cable under my foot well rather than above it you could do either way however i found this portion to be a lot easier the way i did it but i encourage you to try it your way if you think it's better than mine on the driver's side i decided to run the wire in between the alcantara portion and the hard plastic in the foot well of the car but as mentioned before you are more than welcome to try the best way that you think it's possible for this Right now, I am simply using my prime tool to tuck the cable in between the hard plastic and the softer plastic. This took a little bit of effort and once the cable is in between, it's hard to pry it out. So make sure you measure accordingly before installing. So we have finally completed another successful installation. I will give a huge shout out to Test Studios for providing us with this amazing product. I have a thing with safety 
precaution or safety items simply because like i said some of them might come out gimmicky and not all that accurate but i think this one does such a good job at implementing we get it <laughs> at implementing not only safety to your car, but also making it look that much nicer. I do feel like this product is a solid eight from one to 10, and I will give you guys the main reasons why I don't believe it's a 10, but I do believe it is an eight. One, I don't like the look of it. I think it's too bulky, and I know you can't really see it, but I see it and it's like, it doesn't belong. It doesn't look like it's a stock or OEM product from Tesla. I think that's what I'm trying to say. I am just going based on what I have over here. I think it's great it works perfectly it doesn't work under like 30 miles per hour which i think is pretty standard uh so once you're in the freeway it'll be extremely accurate and i tested it out at night which i think is even better because at night things get darker so it's harder for you to see your surroundings so i think this is great another thing that i will point out is i think the implementation that this has within the car i think is really really nice i think this would be a great implementation for those of you guys that have a tesla model y with no warning system. I know the camera does a really good job at showing you the red little lines, which I think is kind of meh, but I think having those and having this just makes you that much safer and safer for others in the road. With that being said, thank you so much Test Studio for sponsoring this video and hooking me up with this awesome hoodie. It actually worked really well. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.